Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on October the 30th. Guys, uh, for me, this is kind of an exhale. He is with us. He is within us. He will never forsake us. And being in contrast and liking the things of the kingdom and things of the culture and that contrast, this classroom is quietness and stillness. His desire is to have the right relationship, that we have the right relationship with him, that we are learning to train our ears. And I really appreciate this. It says the, the beginners need an external quiet stillness in order to create that internal stillness. But as we advance in this discipline, we carry this stillness within us. And you guys, that to me is preaching the gospel without ever saying a word. So my two big takeaways on this one is his desire is that we are in right relationship with him. His desire is that my sheep hear the voice continually, never stopping, a continual stream. It's not just in those moments where we turn and face, but a continual stream. And then it is the stillness that we carry out into the mainstream of life with us. So those are my big takeaways. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. The first reading is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You guys, fear and peace cannot equally coexist. Fear and love cannot equally coexist because in his presence of light, there is no darkness. And I'll just say in the darkness of the culture, there are specks of light. Those are the lighthouses that each and every one of us can be. And when we can't be that, we can kind of seek that in others. But fear not, I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I will be your source of strength. The next reading is Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 12 and 13. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This has to do with, in this reading, um, are we culture bound? Are we earth bound? Or is our gaze and our intention kingdom bound, seeking that peace? So that is up to us. That is truly what this free will is. When you call to me, I will come to you. When you pray to me, I will listen. Those are the truths of the Bible. He will never leave us. We are spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. And that spirit within us, he sees through all of my sin to that perfect love within me. That is my source of strength when I can kind of calm everything down and nurture that center. The final reading is John chapter 10, verse 14, then 27 through 28. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. And this to me, again, we are reminded this, the quietness is the classroom and we are in training to hear our shepherd's voice. Regardless of the external circumstances, we can cultivate this internal stillness, the gospel, his word, his light, and his love within each and every one of us. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.